Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to catch up on a few of the reveals that have taken place over the last few days while I've been away. Starting out with DLC, as last week seen 2K announce the full list of this year's DLC content. So this year's DLC sees 4 packs including the Future Stars pack, New Moves pack, Legends pack and the Hall of Fame showcase. As well as those 4 packs we also have the standalone Accelerator DLC which allows players to unlock all of this year's unlockables as well as customising the in-game superstars ratings and attributes. All this DLC is contained within the WWE 2K17 Season Pass, therefore if you plan to pick it up then you can save yourself 15% by buying the Season Pass which gives you access to all 4 packs and the Accelerator, meaning you'll get more than 25 new characters, new arenas and moves all for the price of $29.99. As for the European pricing, so far there's been no prices released but the standard digital version is available for £54.99 with the deluxe edition that includes the season pass £79.99, therefore taking the difference into account it looks as though the season pass will be priced between £25 to £30 here in the UK. Getting back to the DLC packs and let's take a look at the Future Stars pack as that includes the Perfect 10 Ty Dillinger, one half the Hype Bros in Mojo Rawley, the clubs Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows as well as NXT's Austin Aries. So that's a great way to kick things off as well have 4 brand new stars making their series debut alongside the return of Gallows who were last seen back in Smackdown vs Raw 2011. If you're not planning on picking up the season pass then this pack and all of the Superstar DLC packs can be bought individually for $8.99. Up next we have the Legends pack which features another 5 superstars with Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Greg the Hammer Valentine, Psycho Sid, Tatanka and a man that everyone's been looking forward to see return to the series in the legendary Eddie Guerrero. So it's awesome to see Eddie back in the series as he's obviously the standout name in this pack and someone that I can't wait to play as. Next comes the Hall of Fame Showcase pack and this one just like last year has a whole lot of content included that makes it real value for money as not only do we get new superstars and alternative tires to use but it also gives us new arenas as well as 2k showcase matches to play through which feature both match intros and objectives. So this pack includes Cactus Jack and Diamond Dallas Page taking on the Fabulous Freebirds which is Jimmy Garvin and Michael P.S. Hayes with that match taking place at WCW Saturday Night 1992 which is the first of the new DLC arenas. Then we have the Fabulous Freebirds in action again, this time seeing Buddy Roberts team up with Michael Hayes to take on Kerry and Kevin Von Erich in the WCCW arena from 1986. We then jump to that Judy Ira and see the women in action as Ivory makes her return to the series to take on WWE Hall of Famer Jacqueline from Smackdown 2000, therefore we'll also be seeing the original Smackdown arena included in the game. Meanwhile fans of WCW will be happy to see that we'll have some alternate versions of Sting included as we'll have the golden black version of Sting going up against the classic Ric Flair at Clash of Champions 1988 as well as the NWO Wolfpack Sting as we'll see him in action to take on Bret Hart at WCW Halloween Havoc in 1998. Up next we have a dream match as the alter egos of Charles Wright clash as Papa Shango battles the Godfather. Finally the last match included in the Hall of Fame showcase is the big boss man with Prince Albert who's also been confirmed to be playable taking on the big show at Armageddon 1999. So there's a ton of content in this pack and for the same price as the other superstar packs at $8.99 then you're getting an absolute bargain. Up next we have the new moves pack which features the likes of the swing out neck break I used by Charlotte, Zack Ryder's elbow drop, Samoa Joe's face wash combo and the TJP clutch from the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion TJ Perkins. So those are a few of the new moves that we're going to expect to see with a full list coming close at release but in regards to pricing if you want to pick up this pack as standalone then it's available for just $3.99. So those 4 packs and the Accelerator are all included in the Season Pass but we do have a few other pieces of DLC as you can also pick up the MyPlayer Kickstart for Xbox One and Playstation 4 and that will give you access to unlock and boost your created superstar ratings and attributes in my career mode as well as unlocking additional clothing to be used. Finally for everyone has been asking about the NXT superstars including the exclusive NXT Collectors edition of the game, those two are available as standalone DLC, therefore you can pick up Apollo Crews, Nia Jax and Shinsuke Nakamura as well as a 50% boost in points during matches in NXT during my career if you purchase the NXT Enhancement Pack for $9.99 on PS4 and Xbox One. As for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, those superstars are also available to buy separately as they are included in the NXT Legacy Pack which is available for $4.99. Additionally, if you want to pick up all of the DLC aside from the NXT Enhancement Pack then the Digital Deluxe version is now available for pre-order on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and that features the game itself, the Season Pass, the My Player Kickstart for 2K17 and also 2K16 as well as both Goldberg pre-order bonuses and the WCW Monday Night Raw and Halloween Havoc arenas. 
That's all available for $89.99, which will save you a little bit of money as opposed to buying it all separately. And if you buy it on PS4, then you'll also get a special WWE 2K17 system theme that you can download right now. So guys, that is all of the DLC for WWE 2K17. There's some awesome additions in there with the likes of Eddie Guerrero and all the stars in the Future Stars pack. So I can't wait for those. I'm really happy with the DLC. Although in a dream world, I would have loved to see Bobby Roode and the updated Raw and SmackDown arenas. But obviously, due to those debuting so late in the development process, then it was always going to be unlikely that we'd see them. However, there is community creations. And this year, I can tell you, you're going to have some amazing creations because I got to try out the creation suite last week. And there's so many new options and new items. It is going to be absolutely incredible and you'll be able to see all of it this coming Wednesday as I'll be releasing videos that feature all the items included in Create Superstar mode so you can go through it and start planning all of the things that you're going to make when the game releases in just over two weeks so it's going to be absolutely awesome. So guys make sure to stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll have exclusive WWE 2K17 gameplay beginning on Wednesday and run all the way up to release. Until then though, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry for the delay in covering it as I've been away from birthday, but I'm back and business is about to pick up. Until next time, have an awesome day and I'll catch you later.